Well, it's really beautiful today. As you can see, I'm back on my journey today. And so basically, let's just tune in and see what's happening today. I've been giving loads of insights already this morning. I've been up since half 5.30, um, all exciting stuff. And so I wanna share with you this morning some new projects really that I hope to be doing. Right, new projects today then. Exciting times, I feel. I seem to get the information that basically what is needed morning, is that uh, there's so many people out there praying or putting out thoughts and ideas of basically uh, what they need and want out of life. And so basically, if you're struggling and you have a question what I'm going to do is uh, free readings on a Wednesday and then I'm going to guided by spirit obviously pick probably about 25 people to answer their questions it can be on any subject it could be about your spiritual journey it could be about your loved ones it could be about anything really that you're part of your life that you might want answers for and so one question is what I will um, help you with so that's one project another project is that because of the prayers and everything the angels have asked me um, to do like a, a message service which is quite interesting quite exciting so I've always worked with the angels for many years and they've guided me to people, situations. Sometimes I don't even know about it, but I've always told them that they can use my energy because angels need somebody to, to confirm so they can do things. They will try and arrange people to come into your lives to help you, but to actually help out or to heal or whatever. So basically, all those people that um, wasn't able to give their message across to their loved ones. Okay, so... This is about a message for the heaven. Messages for heaven is the is the, going to be the title. And the angels are going to take the messages to heaven. And odd times, you might get a reply. Or you might get a reply um, around you. Or people might say something. Uh, or you might get a message in other ways. But if there's a particular person that comes through, or there's a really emotional situation that um, I can help with, or just a message from beyond the grave, then I will do. But obviously, with the amount of energy that it takes, I'm limited to only doing so many. So hopefully the angels will be able to ensure that you get the message back. So all you need to do is that on my uh, YouTube channel, I'm going to put uh, messages for heaven. Uh, the angels are carrying these messages. And so... If you didn't get to say goodbye to your loved one, or there's a guilt attached to when you went out, when they went over, because it's these sort of things that stops our connection, stops recognizing they're around. On a personal note, this happened to me. For many years I've been a medium, for over 30 years I've been a medium, and my nan who I lived with died in my arms, and that last breath meant that I just, was devastated. I was devastated the fact that I never thought I'd see her again or know about her. But being a medium, I knew that this, you know, the chances of me connecting with her were, were quite good. Well, I learned a valuable lesson. I learned basically how to clear out that emotional attachment and it all arranges around the guilt or that last moment with the person. And it's really what I really got into mediumship for was to help people to understand this. Because once you let go of this, you can feel it around. So for three months, I was devastated, gutted, um, couldn't see the signs, couldn't see it, odd dreams I would get, but I didn't really feel her around or, or think that I got a message. And then I sat down and I spoke to Spirit and I said, what's happening here? And they, they taught me that it was my body rejected the messages. 
And so when I was able to clear it out and uh, find out that the guilt that was involved in everything, I suddenly um, saw all the times that she was around in the last three months. And so, it, but it's so painful. I know how painful it is. So that's why I want to help the people. That's why I got into mediumship and then I've evolved and done channeling and, you know, I did a, a reading the other day which was marvellous because it was a different type of reading. It was it was not just like a, it was about the healing and the connections and the past lives and present lives and everything, but it also she was able to ask about certain subjects, which I would not normally do. I'd normally just read out whatever comes to me, but it seems more that these areas were important to her. And so by her saying um, the areas, which I won't go into because obviously it's private stuff that I shared with a client, but there was particular areas that she wanted to know and then we were able to see the connections and we were able to see why it was so strong, the connection, and, and why when somebody's like ignoring you, how it, it affected her and where it came from and everything. So it's quite marvellous. And a lot of the information I gave her, you know, she didn't tell me about the situation. She just mentioned, can you look into this or, or whatever. I mean, she was specific about a boyfriend situation. But other than that, it was basically a case of that she, um, that I, I gave her information and, and because it fit, then she was able to, to move on with it. So that showed me how important it was that just understanding that we're always evolving in, in every different way. And so that's why I wanted to give the one questions. I want to be, I give people the opportunity to, to give their message to their loved ones. They're always listening. Um, if they've got work to do on the other side, then the message might take a little bit longer, but there's always signs around you that they're around. There's always, and some of the most marvellous things that's happened is when um, a song started to play and we both looked at each other. The radio was actually unplugged and yet we both heard the song and it was his dad's um, song, his favourite song. And he just looked at me. He did actually call me a freak at the time, which I get used to in my life. But he says, oh, why do always weird things happen when you're around? And I says, well, that's just because they know I can hear them. <laughs> but, you know, you heard the music as well as me. So don't tell me that it was all to do with me. And he laughed, but he really made a big deal because that particular day he, he was struggling. He was struggling that he couldn't connect. And so it's really important. So I'm going to put three readings up. Okay, on a Wednesday. Probably choose about 25 people. And then we'll we'll do that every Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe and you, and you click the notification so you get notified about these things. I've also got free healing on there. I've got spiritual guidance. I've got all sorts of things on there. I've got about over 250 videos on there. Just go to the ones that feel you feel drawn to. But by subscribing, you'll be able to... I'll notify you when I'm doing these healing sessions. When I'm doing the, the, the free reading will be every Wednesday now. Um, I'm also doing my walks in the morning as you're starting to see. Uh, with a spiritual journey when I get insights and channeled. But the angels are really pushing for this. And for the last eight years I've actually been working with the angels. Because there's a lot of suicides about. Over money. There's a lot of people are taking their lives over money. So what I'm trying to do with the connection with the angels is. We're trying to hit the source and there's 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 organizations out there that are basically they're just um how can i say it? I, don't, I don't want to get all like conspiracy theorists or anything like that so but what they're, they're doing is they're utilizing the system um to actually be able to um strip the assets i say uh, you know get people into more debt so that they can take what the land or the properties or what, or what they owe. Um, and so basically because there's been so much of a calling for this and so many people praying, the angels have sent me to Ireland to, to help out. And for the last eight years I've been trying to help out and sort of not stop it because I'm not here to stop, but help those people who, who need help at this time. And it, it seems the Irish people are so proud and so um, of, of their life and stuff that um, they don't talk about stuff that's to do with money and stuff. And anybody in debt, which the whole world is in debt, is classified as basically 
it's their fault when there's a lot of situations why people get into debt and I personally know that you, you know you get caught up in bills one thing or the other and before you know it you could be on the streets and so even the homeless factor is even a strong situation at the moment so getting back to it the, the angels are giving me a message this morning um, it looks like they want me to start doing readings again um, and helping people but I think my readings have evolved they're more like spiritual guidance more than the natural readings because I think most of our problems we can solve by being the solution and so our want and need sometimes which is still important um, they can be solved quicker if people knew how the universe worked and that's why I put up all this enlightenment stuff up all this spiritual journey stuff up and all this information so basically I'm just letting people know that there's going to be some new products new um, videos new insights and if you need a little bit of help at this time then get on to my Wednesday free reading and get on to the, um, the situation um, that you might want to share or or need some insight with okay and the angels will answer the angels will answer